A warm welcome to you all to another documentary. Manpower without unity is not a strength unless it is harmonized and united properly. Then it becomes a spiritual power. Famously said by Sir Darbalabhai Patel, the Iron Man of India. Today, we bring you another special documentary on the Iron Man of India, the first Home Minister of India, Sardar Ballabhai Patel. Sardar Ballabhai Patel was born in a small village in Gujarat. He was born to his parents, Javed Bhai Patel and Lar Bhai. He was born in a small village in Gujarat. Sarda Patel had got his first education from his father. He learned arithmetic and mathematics and multiplications from his father at the fields where his father would do farming. Later on, he went in the city of Karamsad in Patlad school. Later on, for his higher studies, he went to Nadiad for high school. He wanted to become an English lawyer, but things changed later on when he met with none other than Mahatma Gandhi. As an English lawyer, his journey was not at all easy. Well, once again, I repeat that he wanted to become an English lawyer. And the family was poor. He was a, he was a boy from a poor background. And he could not afford to go that time to London, England, and to go for coaching classes to become as an English lawyer. But his brother was a lawyer already and had attended the coaching classes and passed an examination and was a successful lawyer. So he decided to borrow books from uh, his brother's friends and then he attended court sessions regularly. He observed the lawyers and the judges, their skills, their argument skills, and through this, he had passed the examination and set up his own chamber. He had hired a room, and there he would be in his, in his chamber as a lawyer. But things changed again later on. Well, He had no facilities to begin his practice of law, so he had hired a room in the town of Godra. He had furnished it with a couple of chairs and uh, mats for those who wished to sit on the floor because that day there was a tradition that uh, uh, people would sit on the floor and nothing else was there in that room. And he had opened his own, own chamber. Now, as an English lawyer, he was very famous. And uh, talking about his family life, um, Sada Patel had married to Chaverba, who died in his early years, in his early career. And they had two children, Mani Ben and uh, Dhaya Bhai. And uh, so that was his family life. But sadly, his wife died at a very early age. Patel was a very generous and he was also a very kind one. So once it happened that he had booked a ticket from a travel agent. But when the tickets arrived in his house, it, uh, it, the name of uh, the name in the ticket was of his brother. So it was his elder brother. So his elder brother demanded that uh, that 
if he could go to uh, England for first. So Sir Dapata let him. And then once his elder brother returned, later on Sir Bhai Patel went again to England for his studies. So this was kind of Sir Dapata Patel's generosity. Now coming to a sad part in the life of Sarda Patel, the death of his wife. As already said, his wife died at an early age. So how did the day unfold? Well, it was a fine day. He was arguing a very strong case before the judge with energy. And suddenly an urgent telegram arrived and it was handed over to him. Now the rest of the court knew the news, what was in the telegram, but he didn't know. He had just read the letter, what it said, and he had kept it in his pocket. And he continued that argument with the same energy. He did not show any sadness. This was the quality of Sardar Bhai Patel. Even on someone's death, he would not be sad. Now, coming to the changing parts of his life, when he made what Mahatma Gandhi As usual, when Mahatma Gandhi had come, it had changed everyone's life, and so it, it, it had done with Vallabhai Patel. And Vallabhai Patel had met Gandhiji, and they were both good friends. Vallabhai then became a follower of Gandhiji. He burnt his English, English well, and he started to follow Gandhiji's path. He was one of the friends of Gandhiji. He was, was also the last person to meet Bapu before Gandhiji was killed by Nathuram Goddess. Sarda Patel came from a poor background and he knew what farmers would do. Farmers would be tortured by the British at that time because they would not pay tax or something wrong would happen and there would be something with the British. So, he was a friend of the farmers during the Indian freedom struggle. There were two to three incidents. Notably, the 1918 incident when heavy rain had destroyed crops in the Cairo district, the British government then demanded to pay immediate tax. So that time the farmers turned towards Vallabhai Patel. He took the leadership from Gandhiji and said that I will deal with the British and the farmers will help me. He opposed the demand, the farmers opposed the demand and the government removed the demand due to their opposition. Notably, another incident was in 1923 when rains had destructed the whole of the Gujarat, there was a flood everywhere. Vallabhai Patel was the only one who was present in Gujarat who came to the rescue. He made a group of 2,000 volunteers who supplied food and clothes through road. They came through road and supplied food and clothes. Then, this after this flood, famine again struck in Gujarat. And then... Vallabhai Patel demanded the government to help them, help the farmers during that period of famine, and the government helped them. Such was his friendship with farmers. Well, anyone knows why? Sardar Bhai Patel. How was the Sardar title given? Well, it is due to this story. He was once a hero of Bardoli. The story began when the people of Bardoli and the farmers were suffering due to flood and famine. At that time, as usual, the British government increased the tax by 30%. Once again, the farmers and the people turned to Sardar Bhai Patel for help. As a first step, he wrote to the governor to reduce tax. But as usual, there was no response from the government. Instead, 
They announced the fixed debt for tax collection. The farmers were distressed. In response, Vallabhaya had instructed the farmers not even to pay a money to the tax collectors. He divided the district into several zones. Each zone was assigned by a was assigned to a person who would alert the villagers when the tax collectors came. Once the person would see the tax collectors, he would alert the village, and the whole vi and the whole village would become empty as the villagers would go towards the vi jungle. The tax collectors would see the village empty. The British government understood that this was not the way to collect taxes. They started frightening the farmers by sending gangsters, and the gangsters would kill someone or loot their uh, money. But Nothing happened. So they tried another way, the British government. They started selling the land so as if the farmers would buy it and they could collect extra money. But then that also not worked. And finally, the British government had to come to its normal tax and they announced that there would be no fixed date of collection. After this, he or Sardar Bhai Patel, as we know him, he was given the title of Sardar, and from that on he was known as Sardar Bhai Patel. Here he had saved Bardoli, Sardar Bhai Patel, but the British was angry with him. The British had sent him to, twice to prison, and also he had been sent with Mahatma Gandhi. He was a good companion of Mahatma Gandhi in the prison. Coming to the next part, after independence, the first Home Minister of India. After the independence of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru became the first Prime Minister of India, while Sardar Patnil is the first Home Minister of India. He then his major task was to unite the 570 states into one single country. He then took the responsibilities of, of drafting the constitution, seeing to the country, and uniting the 570 states. And therefore, he is known as the Iron Man of India. He had, is also credited to planning the operations, the army operations to free Hyderabad and also negotiating with the Kashmir king to make Kashmir a part of India. In the 1950s, once India was a republic country, the first president of India was elected, Sardar Ballabhai Patel, health started to deteriorate. In a few months, his health had deteriorated a lot. Shortly after that, Sardar Ballabhai Patel died. Sardar Ballabhai Patel died on the morning of 15th December 1950 at Billa House, Bombay, after suffering a massive heart attack. He was taken to Bombay for better treatment, but he died. Sardar Patel's cremation was later on attended over 1 million people and was then the Prime Minister of India. The President, Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar and, a few, and more other dignitaries. The next day after his death, the Indian Service Police had declared a day of mourning while then Prime Minister of India declared a week of nationwide mourning. This was his life of Sardar Ballabhai Patel, the Iron Man of India, the first Home Minister of India, a person who was credited to unite the 570 states into a single country and that is Bharat. He is the Iron Man of India. In his honor, a statue.
statue has been made, which is the world's highest statue, the Statue of Unity in Gujarat. The Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, had inaugurated it. He is also a Bharat Ratna awardee, the Iron Man of India, Sardar Ballabhai Patel.